Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. An update tonight on a dog attack that injured a woman horseback riding near Alberta. As News 5's Pat Peterson reports, the owners of the dogs admit their pets went after the woman and her horse, but they're disputing her other allegations. This is Memo. This is Boyka. Ricardo Hernandez and his family are sorry their dogs attacked Monica Beta and her horse. If they do jump on you, it's to, to lick you, but they're not going to bite. But the Hernandez family says Beta owes them an apology after Beta took her frustrations to social media and posted what the family calls was an inaccurate, defamatory, and racially motivated lie on Facebook. If you live in Alberta, please share the post so everyone knows of these illegal and dangerous people. Reading that, well, how does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel kind of sad. She didn't attack us because of the dogs. She, I feel like she racially attacked us. It wasn't any about the dogs anymore. It was more about us being Mexicans. Beta's post, which accused the Hernandez family of living in the U.S. illegally, operating a dog fighting ring, and called for immediate deportation proceedings, quickly went viral. But they're really not fighting dogs. They're just normal dogs. Probably the most ferocious one that we have in here is a Chihuahua. She assumed we were illegal Mexicans, which is not true. And my dad's a U.S. citizen, and all my other siblings are U.S. citizens. I mean, we would be very dumb if we did have dog fighting because we do have young children. Police say the Hernandez family did not commit a crime. The family could be fined for violating the town's dogs running at large ordinance if Monica Beta files a complaint. Everything in my power that I could do to resolve it is being done. The family has since put up a fence and is voluntarily putting their dogs in quarantine. A vet should clear and release the dogs by the end of the week. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. Monica Beta would not talk to us on camera today, but says she finally visited a doctor and has hired an attorney. The doctor confirmed Beta was either bitten or clawed by one of the dogs.